I'm photographer Ronnie Sweat and I'm in this tutorial I'll be showing you high-end skin retouching using frequent separation from the very start to the very end so you can see this is the before and after before after so I'll just come and delete this so what you have to understand about frequent separation it is a skin retouching technique that is going to divide the image into the textures and the colors so in the textures uh, we call that the high frequency layer and the colors is the low frequency layer so before we proceed with this let's first of all clean up or remove the skin imperfections or the blemishes in this very image so we're just going to come to the background layer and simply duplicate it by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard then after creating that layer simply come and get the patch tool and make sure it is set to content aware and make sure the structure is full and it is right here on this mode right here then zoom into the image and simply draw over the blemish that you want to remove by left clicking and drawing around the blemish and dragging that blemish to a clean area to replace it with a clean area of the skin so do that for the blemishes and you can see it does a pretty fine job and the reason I'm as to I'm using the the patch tool rather is because these blemishes are a little bit pronounced and I want to do a very fast and quick job so I'm just going to circle over the blemish and replace that blemish with a clean skin and later on you're going to be perfecting this process using frequent separation because sometimes it is non-destructive when you're trying to remove blemishes using a frequent separation so this is going to be like a quick job so let, let's just clean this and i'll see you later on so i'm just going to forward this and i'll see you later on in this very video so let me just remove the blemishes welcome back and now you can see we are done removing the blemishes and this is our before after before after before and after so after removing the blemishes, the next thing is going to be doing the frequency separation. And like I said, frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer. So the reason as to we have first removed the blemishes, we don't want to do a lot of work trying to remove the skin imperfections or the blemishes. So this is going to act as a background layer for this kind of tutorial. But if at all you clean the blemishes, you can as well match the, the, the two layers and you can proceed. So I'm just going to leave this for purposes of this very educational content. So I'll just come and create two layers from this layer one. So by pressing Ctrl J twice and rename this to, you can name it to low frequency and name the upper layer to high frequency. So I'm just going to name that to low frequency. And this topmost layer, you double click to rename and call that the high frequency. So high frequency just like that then what we're going to do we're just going to make sure to remain with the information regarding the colors and textures so we're going to come to this high frequency layer now hide it and select the low frequency layer right here so with the low frequency layer we only want to remain with the skin tones or the colors in this image so select the low frequency layer and simply come to filter and come down to blur and come down to Gaussian blur so this is the most important step when it comes to retouching using frequency separation so take the radius all the way down and you zoom into the skin the reason for this is because we want to blur out the textures in the skin so that we can retain or keep the textures or we want to blur away the textures and we only remain with the colors so by zooming into this very image you're just going to left click and take the radius up up the point when you're just starting to lose out on the details in this very image so around four pixels that is when i'm just starting to lose out on the textures or the skin textures in the image so just have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and simply hit ok so you can see the image turns to look a little bit blurry so we are going to come back to the high frequency and now select it and activate it then come here to image remember in the high frequency i only want to remain with the texture so just come to image and come down to apply image right here so in come to apply image simply come and select the low frequency layer because we want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer 
measure the channel is set to RGB and measure the blend mode is set to subtract but if at all you are having a 16 bit image mine is 8 bit so that is why I have selected subtract the opacity is 100 percent preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale has to be 2 and offset 128 measure invert is not turned on and measure the previous on and you can see the it is going to create this kind of gray layer that is lacking colors and it is only containing the textures then if at all you're working on an 8-bit image these settings are going to be a little bit different so just come and select the low frequency layer for a 16-bit image if at all you have 16 right here then come and change the blend mode to add the scale is to offset zero or pass at 100 percent and make sure you turn on the invert option and you have the same re results so mine is the 8 bits so i'll change it to subtract the scale is to offset 128 and simply uncheck the invert option and hit ok so we want to bring back the information in this image by coming and change the blend mode from normal all the way to linear light and you get back the image that it was meant to be so after doing that just come right here and select both layers and press ctrl or you can use command g on the keyboard so you can open up the group you can see that we have the colors and the textures alone so we want first of all perfect the colors in this image and in order to perfect the colors we don't want to be distracted by the textures so just come and hide the texture layer right here and select the color layer so in order to blend the colors you can see that we have uneven skin tones in this very area of the face you can see that we have random skin tones and just want to create a nice and smooth blend within those colors by mixing and brushing all over those colors so just come and get the mixer brush tool so you can right click under the brushes to get the mixer brush tool and you can as well find the mixer brush tool right here by right clicking and selecting the mixer brush tool if at all you don't have it wherever it is meant to be so mine is just here so whichever tool is selected in photoshop the settings are always going to be on top right here so for this case measure the hardness of the mixer brush tool is set all the way to zero percent right there and make sure you set the option that says clean brush because we want photoshop to automatically clean, clean the brush as you're trying to edit the skin then select the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke right here this second option with the weight of nine percent load of 75 percent mix of 90 percent and the flat 100 percent make sure sample orders is not turned on and after doing that simply you can use the bracket keys to reduce or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool so the bracket keys the open and close bracket keys are going to change or the alter the size of the brush tool and also if at all the brush is showing a plus icon simply press the caps lock key on the keyboard then after doing that we want to blend the transitions within the skin i know that blend the transitions within the skin simply make sure that you are not zooming all the way in because when you zoom all the way in you are not going to be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions or the uneven skin color so make sure you retouch at a distance i think that is okay and use a size that is relatively or a size of the brush that is going to remain within the area you're trying to work on or mix in the image so i'm just going to slightly reduce on that then after doing that how to mix you have to mix and follow the direction of the facial structures so you can say chick is moving in this direction i'll simply left click and hold down and simply mix that area until when i feel like i'm comfortable and the colors are fine and mix perfectly and remove or i lift up my i stop left clicking and come to a new area and simply left click and mix that area so i'm basically mixing colors that are trying to look alike so that i can create a harmonious transition within those colors so reduce on the size factor you're going to work on a smaller area and mix that color alone come to to the other side and also mix that color just like that and mix like that so the strokes of the brush or the direction has to follow the shape of the area you're trying to work on you can see i'm moving my brush in this kind of diagonal direction because i don't want to change or alter the original shape of the model's face in this case so i'm just going to mix just like that so just come this other side and also mix those colors alone then while these colors are transferring transitioning from one color to another reduce on the size and mix the boundaries to create a nice and smooth harmony amongst those colors so you can see 
this is okay and this is perfect but you can notice that the image is looking plastic but don't mind about that because the reason for it looking plastic is we turned off or we de deactivated the texture layer and you can as well activate it later on so that you can regain back the texture so just mix those colors just a lot like that and you can see it's going to create a harmonious transition within the skin color and the skin is going to look plastic as we're trying to do or use this technique but the more plastic it is looking and the more better or the more perfect the results are going to be at the end of the process so mix the colors on the skin just like that so to see what you're working on or to see the results just come and turn on the texture layer and you can see this is the before after before after before and after so just come and reduce on the size or deactivate the rather the texture layer and continue working on the skin just like that so increase on the size and mix just like that so just take your time and make sure that every area that contains an even skin tone transition has been worked on and perfected by this first step so you can see this looks okay and we are almost done using the mr brush tool so after doing that we are going to use the same technique for the fingers and also the hands right here to perfect it just like that so after you doing that just come and activate the texture layer and you can see this is the before after before after so this is the what the frequency separation has done to this very image so in order to proceed simply come and select the texture layer right here and come and get the clone stamp tool or you can use s on the keyboard for a clone stamp tool and make sure the pass is 100 percent flat 100 percent make sure the sample is set to current layer because one sample the textures and remove the pimples that remained or the blemishes in this image so after doing that just come and measure the hardness is set all the way to zero percent right there and after doing that now come and zoom in like that to remove the remaining blemishes so how to remove these blemishes with the high frequency layer selected just come and reduce on the size of the brush and measure that it is or reduce on the size of the clone stamp tool by using the bracket keys and to zoom in you can use Control plus on the keyboard for windows and for mac it is command plus on the keyboard to zoom in to remove a blemish make sure to hold down the alternate key on the keyboard so you can use the alternate key on the keyboard or the option key if at all using mac so you hold it down after ensuring that the size is slightly bigger than the blemish that you want to remove and sample a clean area that is near the blemish because we want the colors to be consistent so you copy clean skin by left click by rather holding down the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left clicking on a clean area that is near the blemish release the alternate key on the keyboard or the option key and after releasing it you can now paste that area with clean skin and you can see that blemish is going to be replaced by that clean skin that we copied in the first instance so i'm just going to be forwarding this and I'll see you later on in this very tutorial. Hello, welcome back and you can see how we are now done removing the remaining blemishes in the image and that's the before and after for our frequency separation. So let me show you a quick before and after for the overall retouching of this very image. So this is the image initially before, after, before, after. So you can see how amazing frequency separation is and how we have been able to perfect this image that looks a little bit difficult at the, at the start of the tutorial. So before, after. So if I told you have enjoyed this video, simply like this video. So if I told you want to export the image after editing so that it doesn't change in quality or have the best out of the image, simply come right here to image rather come to file and come to export and come down to export as so in come to export as it's going to open up the export as window make sure you set the format to jpeg and quality at 100% because one the best out of this very image make sure you set the resample size to by cubic sharper right here so if at all you don't want the image to change in color after you save it or print it out simply select embed color profile and also convert to srgb make sure these two are checked and simply export and choose the location where you want to save the edited image. So this is it for this video. And if I told you I've enjoyed this, simply like this video. And don't forget to subscribe if I told you are watching 
and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you yet more videos on this channel and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating